Hi folks, it's good to see you. Hope everybody's okay. We're in the fourth part of um, Nicodemus, looking at Nicodemus. We've looked at Nicodemus was religious, Nicodemus was seeking, Nicodemus was challenged. And then fourthly, we're looking at Nicodemus was loved. So if you turn to John 3.16... Before I read it, I shall pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love and your grace, and we give you the praise and the glory today. We thank you that you are our God and our Saviour and our Lord. And Lord, I pray for every person listening to this that they will be blessed and encouraged. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So we're looking at John 3.16 and we're noticing God's love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Let's just turn to a few other scriptures. I've told you that story of um, of a woodcutter, and he was in a village, and um, he saw a fire, and other people saw a fire in the village. Anyhow, one day, as this fire was burning, uh, the villagers and everybody got there to the to the fire, to the to to a to a cottage and it was on fire, and there was a baby, uh, sat uh, lied on on some on a sheet, in the middle, of a path, away from the burning, uh, cottage and it had been saved. Well, the next day everybody was wondering, who saved this this, baby. And they were all in the town hall discussing. And then this woodcutter came and he had a hood over his head and he pulled the hood down. And he opened his arms so people could see his his sleeves, uh, his, his arms, bare arms. And all his bare arms were burnt. He said, I saved the baby. You know, he went into that fire to save the baby. Christ came and went into the fire of judgment for you. You know, the Son of God who was holy, who came down from heaven, came down, took upon himself human flesh, and died upon a cross so that you could be saved. He took the wrath that you deserved. You deserved it. I deserved it. To go into eternity away from God. But yet Christ took your judgment. He took your punishment. My friend, he died on that cross and he loved you at that cross and he shed his blood for you at the cross at Calvary. And he wants you to come and, and, and repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry for my sin. Forgive me. And he wants you to come and he know your love. God, want, Jesus wanted Nicodemus and Nicodemus eventually became a believer in Christ. It was Nicodemus along with Joseph of Arimathea, Athea, Joseph of Arimathea, who buried Jesus, he became a believer because God loved him and saved him. And my friend, you need Jesus now. You need to come and know his love. Let's turn to a few texts. And anybody here today who says, Jay, God doesn't love me. He doesn't want to love me. He does want to love you. He does love you. He died for you at the cross, my friend. Oh, don't ever say that, my friend. He loves you. Romans 5, 8. Excuse me. Romans 5, 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this... Why we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Why we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us even though we were sinners, even though you were a sinner. He died for you, my friend. John fifteen thirteen. 
John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. And our Lord laid his life down for you at Calvary. Will you come? Will you trust him? Will you give your life to him now? Please, come. He loves you and he wants you. So come. Okay. Okay, we have... We have one more study to do, and uh, if you want to come to know the Lord, we pray this prayer, and if you prayed in your heart, you have been saved today. And this, this prayer doesn't save you, but God will hear this prayer. Lord, I do not know you, but Lord, I want to know you. I confess every sin in my life. And I ask that you would forgive me in Jesus' name. I ask, Lord, that you would come into my life by the power of your Spirit and take over and control of my life. I ask this, Lord, in your name and for your glory. Amen. Amen. If you have been saved, if that's the prayer that you've done, that's fantastic. And I would encourage you to find a local church where you can be built up in the Word of God. Okay? If you can't find a church, let me know and I'll try and find one for you. Wherever you are around the world, I will do my best to find you a church. Okay? God bless you.